What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We got a box to unwrap. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hope everyone is doing well. I figured I would do another unboxing video. I really enjoy doing these. Let's see if we can break into this. Hopefully there's not another box on the inside, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> it's as I feared, another box inside the box. Anyways, I, I do I do have to give these these companies props for packing their stuff extremely well. I mean, it protects the equipment, at least mostly. I have seen a few horror stories of people getting their equipment just like completely broken thanks to FedEx and UPS and all that. But man, they pack it pretty well just to ensure that everything's gonna be just fine. <laughs> Let's get into the second box here. Ah, there it is. I'm going to set this down, actually. Oh, man. Got the manual. Do we have anything else in the box? And we got uh, our power cable as well. So if you couldn't have guessed by the top of this amplifier, I ended up getting myself an Orange Super Crush 100. So this is a solid state amplifier and it has been known to basically put tube amplifiers out of commission just because of how awesome it sounds and for it not being a valve amplifier or a tube amplifier. So I thought it would be really cool to kind of get in there and check it out for myself, see what the hype is all about. And, and you know, <laughs> I looking at this, I've never really been a big fan of how the orange amplifiers look, but recently, if you've been following my social media, I ended up getting a Dark Terror from Orange, and I might do a, a review on that. Let me know if you want to see a review on the Dark Terror, but I got the Dark Terror because it was a used item at Guitar Center. I was just walking around, and it was a used item for a really good price, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. I think it was like a week later I ended up getting this guy, so... <laughs> I've never had an orange amplifier, and I've just kind of recently started looking into them, but I've never been a big fan of how they look. I think they kind of look a little tacky and all that, but I mean, from what I've seen, these things sound absolutely amazing. All right, so here we are a few days later. I wanted to kind of plug it in and check out some of the first reactions that I have to the sound on this amplifier. And I haven't gotten the chance to really play this guy before. So I have my Balaguer semi-custom archetype here. Let's go ahead and turn some knobs and then just see what we can figure out here. So it looks like we're on the clean channel. There we go. Okay. All right, so there's the clean, but that is, uh, that is not what we are here for. So let's go ahead and switch our, actually I'm gonna lower this master just in case. And okay, looks like I have everything set to about 12 o'clock here. So let's see what the dirty sounds like. Um, <laughs> either that is the worst IR that I've ever heard, or that's the sound of an amp without a cabinet. And I'm kind of leaning towards it being without a cabinet. So I'm using the direct out on the back or the direct in on the back. And it's supposed to have a orange cabinet with a button that you can actually push and you can make it an open back cabinet or a closed back cabinet. At least from what I read, that's what makes sense to me um that that does not sound good oh hold hold on one second
let's um I'll tell you what I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one of my own IRs that I have in my DAW on this guy and let's let's see what we can do that is um that's a little little underwhelming a little depressing but uh let's go ahead and see how it sounds with an actual IR that I have in the DAW okay so I have loaded up the torpedo wall sound plugin and I am using the IR Harry Coffee from the new Two Madsen Signature IR pack. So let's see what this sounds like now. Well, that is so much, that is so much better. Um, and I have everything at noon right now. I'm gonna bump up the volume just a little bit. All right, and let's see, we have, so it's a little backwards. Usually I have bass here, I have the middle obviously is, is there, but I have the uh, treble here and it has a bass clef. It's like, it's like looking at hieroglyphics, you know, trying to figure it out. You gotta, you gotta know just like very basic music theory stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and raise the treble a little bit. I'm going to lower the bass. I'm gonna keep the middle at, and right at 12 o'clock. That actually sounds really, really good. Um, as soon as we get an IR on it, it sounds Really, really good actually. Uh, not too bad whatsoever. I'm going to, let's see, we have the, oh, this is the gain. Yeah, you can hear the noise creeping up. Ooh, that's some uh, high pitched noise. I'm gonna leave it right around there. That sounds really awesome, actually. I was able to get a pretty nice tone right off the bat. I'm not even using a boost pedal or a noise gate at all. I am just going straight into the front of this amplifier. That sounds really nice. Um, sorry about the little bit of hum on there. Like I said, there's no noise gate on it, but I wanted to kind of show you guys this amplifier without anything in the front. I mean, that sounds really good. Yeah, I would definitely probably use a noise gate with this, but if you don't want to use a boost, you can absolutely get away with that for sure. Um, let's see, what is this guy? Oh, it's a built-in reverb, okay. Let's check it out. I, you know, I don't hate that reverb. Usually built-in reverbs, they're not the type that I like. This one isn't bad at all, and I have it at about one o'clock, two o'clock or so. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, I definitely see what the hype of this amp is for. You know, other than the little bit of a disappointment with the direct in on the back, um, 
not bad whatsoever. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to show you guys kind of my first reactions of this amp. So far, I'm enjoying it other than the obvious issues um, that we have. And maybe I'm just doing it wrong or maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. But to me, it's supposed to have an IR. Um, at least that's what the instructions read on it. But anyways, thank you so much guys for watching my videos. If you are enjoying them in any way, shape or form, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifier, smash that like button, all that good stuff. You guys know what to do. Um, also keep an eye out because I am going to be doing a full review on this amplifier here soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that for sure. My name is Chris with High Impact Audio. I will see you guys next time.